Hey guys, so I know it's a little bit difficult to keep up with everything that's happening in StarCraft, even in our quote, uh, off season, unquote, but I wanted to do this video to try and help you guys out as well as also keep me up to date because I actually missed the IEM Katowice qualifiers for 2020, an event happening in about a month, depending on when I release this YouTube video. I was in Australia <laughs> and I missed uh, basically everything, even though I really wanted to do the casting for it. Uh, just wasn't really possible in that time zone with a setup that I had. So I'm going to go over the results with you guys really quickly and just maybe some comments here and there about the games that I did see and where maybe the meta is going. All right, so we're going to do this in order of the Wikipedia. So European qualifier first. Let's see here. We had uh, the format for this, by the way, is one open qualifier and then a closed qualifier. So you're qualifying for a qualifier um, where other people are also in that second part of the qualifier. So that might have been a really terrible way of explaining it, but you'll get the idea. It's also an open qualifier, as in it is not just anyone masters and above, but anyone from any region. So if you see the qualified players and you're like, wait a second. That's how that's how it goes. The WCS system, the ESL Pro Tour system might have a different thing. WCS certainly did. But for uh, IEM, it's always been just anyone can play. Although usually for Europe, there is a significant problem with Korea to Europe uh, delay. So you don't usually see Koreans try, but try they did. And actually one got through. So you have a list of notable participants, sure. But the uh, results here... This was the open qualifier, I believe, because, you know, there's only so many that can actually qualify. So Nia did all right. Um, Vanya, Punny, Cure, a couple of those Europeans did all right. Scarlet even got through. Cool to see Denver doing well. And I believe Special is still in Korea as well, so he was not having the best of... Oh, Scarlet too, I guess. The best of ping. But then you had the them go up to seated, against seated people, who included a couple of these names right here. Rainer was already qualified via the American server, America, which happened, I guess, beforehand. So anyways, Sarah makes it through after being seated. Makes sense. Two zero is Neeb. Three, two, Cure. Might be worth checking out. I know the IEM replays for the qualifier should be coming out soon, if not already by the time this video has been released. But Sarah getting through is not a surprise. Three, two against Cure is. Sarah might have, have his biggest weakness be the ZVT against Koreans specifically, because that's also what he struggled with for last year's IEM. He lost against Innovation in a pretty um, crazy, stupid, super long TVZ. Uh, not that the match actually mattered. And then, well, the rest of the tournament went all right, all right with him, so that's why I put weaknesses in, in quotes. <laughs> but Kira's also been on the up and up, someone that you should have been paying attention to from like two plus years ago, honestly, ever since he got back really into playing full-time. I'm not sure he ever really fell out full time, but the point is he's been online tournaments and just running through them, looking really, really good in all the matchups. It's sick to see him take two games off of Cyril. A laser 3 2 special to represent the European region after taking out Scarlet. Looks like here Marine had a drop down because of special TVT as well, but a laser making it through. He's always been kind of that like, oh, he's going to do really well, and then he dropped off a little bit, and then there was a GSO versus the world thing, and now we're into 2020, and he is looking uh, for a good damn good start don't forget that for this year for the new format which you can check out more about that at ESL Pro Tour Starcraft 2 also I did a video on it um, this Kataviche does not count as the global finals so that's going to be next year so this is just part of the ESL Pro Tour I believe right now anyways and then Kira was able to scrap it through the lower bracket by beating special in a tvt which makes sense cure is still pretty well known as a tvt sniper he has been since god even pro league maybe <laughs> in a very long time so pretty sick results there from europe you can see all the places you can find the vods on but as i said i also want to cast some of these when they release the replays so definitely follow my youtube channel hashtag sellout maybe american qualifier I believe there is one European, one American, and then you can see two Korean qualifiers. So this actually happened first. Ooh, all right. We had two Koreans and a European, so no one from America. That's that's fine. That's cool. Mm, Ty got through. Zest gets through. Anything really interesting happening here? Doesn't look like it. Not so much. Then they get faced up against people who are already seated. Kelazur, not to forget, he is usually playing from the Netherlands. 
And again, some of these players, special Scarlet playing from Korea. So Zest gets take, uh, takes out Neeb. Zest's PvP is still pretty damn good. Maybe not best, but still pretty damn good. Rainer 3 0 Sue. Not that Sue had particularly difficult opponents to even get this far, but that's a pretty sick result right there. And Maru 3 0's Trap, which I, I will say is impressive. Trap's PvT is, is, has just historically been very good ever since I first. Uh, became a fan of his back in like the Red Bull Battlegrounds days. So for Maru to once again show up is is pretty cool because sometimes this kid has a problem with showing up when either it's you know the coolest possible opportunity, say BlizzCon, or when it comes to online stuff. He's actually had quite a weakness to online stuff, but three zeroing trap is pretty darn good. And two one, it's kind of okay, yeah. And then Zest powers through the lower bracket. These qualifiers go on for a very long time, guys. So it actually is a powering through. Um, he actually beats TY to get that slot for the Americas. Where you come from in the European America, blah, 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 bracket doesn't actually matter for the final event. I'm 99% sure. But very cool to see Zest. He is my favorite Protoss now, uh, especially since Hero has gone to the military. Uh, so Sue not making it through here. It is worth noting that last year was his first, well, his first uh, important, shall we say, actual first place. It was a pretty epic ceremony. So if he doesn't make it through, I'm going to be kind of sad. Uh, so far, also not making it through qual Korean qualifier number number one. Instead, we had three Koreans. All right. Tasia coming out, not against too many difficult opponents, but oh, look at that. 2 0 Korea, actually. So I, I guess the European qualifier may be one of the last ones to happen. Uh, that's pretty cool. Zaun, the uh, now infamous Zaun, kind of a cheesy Protoss player, appearing in some online tournaments, 3-0 at Innovation. But to be fair, Innovation's been kind of a question mark since, I mean, it was six months ago, since GSL Season 3. It's a long time ago at this point. Big question mark for him. So I guess through party, uh, straight taking a game off of SOS is always cool, but that happens, PvP. Dongregu. Coming back out, he's uh, been back from military for six months now, maybe even longer, a year. And then getting into versus the seated people, we have stats, three winning trap. Trap, I mean, he's got good all around uh, everything, but his PvP was also pretty good. He is also just uh, one of those names that pops up because of his performance in GSL, even though the finals weren't that great, that he is not quite making it through. Stats gets through, good to see that. TY gets through. Oh, 3 2 Sue. It was probably pretty good games. And then Sue tries desperately to get through here, but Solar ends up taking him in a ZVZ. Solar also having some pretty breakout performances in the last six months. Well, breakout performance isn't the right word, is it? But you get what I mean. He's doing pretty well. Uh, looks like Korean qualifier number one allowed three players through, and Queen Korean qualifier allowed two players through for number two. So Parting and Rogue made it through. Oh, so Sue's going to have to try it in the open bracket. This is not a uh, qualification-only tournament. I said that weird, whatever. Um, you can actually still qualify. Well, you can still play in the tournament in the open bracket. Like, Katavichi is a huge tournament. It runs from, like, Saturday to Sunday, like the next Sunday. <laughs> um, so the open bracket where you actually have to go to poland and play lasts until like tuesday or wednesday or something insane and then you get into all these guys playing so if your favorite person has, has made it through here you actually have to wait a little while to see them but still they made it through that's always nice so the open bracket anything surprising here bomber making a reappearance but losing a don regu that's a 2012 throwback down not doing so hot Estrella beats super it's a pretty cool result. Dream CVT is pretty good, but Innovation takes that one. Parting had the surprise run, I would say. He was very pumped on Twitter. It was pretty fun to see. Rogue barely 3 twos him. Damn. But Rogue is going to, once again, be fighting for the title. And then Parting makes it through a 3-0 against Trap in a PvP to take that second qualification spot. Not bad. So some of the names that do not make it through would be Scarlet, Special, Sue, mm, Euthermal. Uh, I mean, who else? Who would you expect to see there? Showtime didn't make it through. I mean, it's a, it, there's not that many qualification spots. And a lot of the Europeans and even Americans are going to have access to going to Poland to try and continue their 
their dream of, of winning it. But the Koreans, they're a little more out of luck unless they have a very nice, nice team, which, hey, some of them do. Some of them have very nice teams now, actually. So that does it then. Uh, the overview here, you can see the results. We have three Protoss, three Terran, five Zerg, Zerg Imba. Am I right, guys? And we have some of our fan favorites. Serral making it through was supposed to be the duh. But again, keep in mind, since BlizzCon, how many months has it been? It's always a question mark how people come in back from the uh, hiatus and the off season. Although I guess Homestory Cup also happens. And occasionally we have like a WSG or something like that. But he is still dominating. And uh, I'm excited to see what Cure has to offer. Parting coming through is going to maybe be more Mimi, but apparently he's doing pretty well. So I really am curious to see what happens there. Stats wants to get some victories before he has to go off to the military. That's actually a looming threat for a lot of Korean players. We already lost a couple Protoss this year, last year, Hero and Classic. TY is my bae. I'm not as big of a fan as Maynard, but I'm a pretty big fan of TY. And, uh, I am excited to see what Rainer has to offer as well. So, what do you guys think? Is Zerg overpowered? Is Zerg going to win, Kaeviche? I don't know. But that's it for the qualifications. And then we'll see uh, the actual tournament. Oh, main event. Here we go. We'll see the actual tournament later in February all the way into March. Because, as I said, it's a huge tournament. And that will be in Poland as well. So, get your tickets if you can. It's... It, literally, this event is going to be the World Championships next year. But even as it was back when BlizzCon was World Championships, this was always like a people's preferred World Championship, right? A lot of people actually preferred how this went down. So it's a pretty historic event. Really cool to see it happening every year and now being the, I don't know, flagship tournament or whatever you want to call it. So that just about does it. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Again, let me know your ideas, thoughts about the tournament and all its... I suppose it's results so far down below in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.